also, if you ever have a paranormal situation and you need help, my team would gladly come in and investigate and try to get some answers about what's going on in your house or your place of business. And we do not charge anything. We come in, we help people. That's what we do. Or if you have a location that you think that Ghost City Paranormal should investigate, you can email us, give us ideas for episodes. This is a K2 meter. Um, it's basically an EMF meter. You can see it's got different settings here. Um, tells you how many milligauss is here. 1.5, 10, and 20 plus. Um, now, it's hard to see right now because you're in daylight. When you turn it on, it flickers twice. That's just what it normally does. Um, when you sit down and do a K2 session, like I said before, you want to make sure you use the multiple devices and multiple techniques. However, if you're doing this as a personal journey just for yourself and you don't need all the extra toys and gadgets that we use here at Ghost City Paranormal, uh, but you have to explain to the spirits um, when you're trying to communicate um, how you want them to use this device. Ask them to pass their hand in front of this device once for yes, twice for no, three for I don't know, or you could ask them four for yes, five for no, six for I don't know. You could change it up any way you want. And what we like to do here at Ghost City Paranormal is when we're getting a session going and we think it's an intelligent uh, conversation that we're having with the spirit world, just to solidify that, we ask the spirits, once we got them going yeah, once for yes, twice for no, three for I don't know, we kind of change it up, four for yes, five for no, six for I don't know, just to see if they adapt with us and if they listen to us, that's proof of an intelligent style haunt. Just such a beautiful location. Today is the twenty sixth of October. I've been in this field for over six years now. And I've been to some pretty deep, dark places. I'd probably have to say the most haunted location I've been on to date is uh, probably the 1812 Hotel, um, then Sachs Bridge, and then BF Bungalow. Those are probably my top three most haunted locations that I have investigated. Almost busted my butt there. We'll be right back. So here we are at Mount Home Cemetery still, um, doing our daytime investigation, you know, just walking through, taking some pictures. Hopefully we'll capture something. Um, it's just 
this place is gorgeous. I mean, coming here in the fall, you see all the leaves changing. I mean, in my opinion, I think this place here could definitely be haunted. But like I said before, we need to come here for a nighttime investigation. We'll be right back. Sorry about that. Ask them if they're hiding. Before you asked the question, I heard something over here that it sounded like a cannon going off over there. I don't know. That's, that's what I heard. Just now? Yeah, before you asked the question. Huh? I didn't hear anything. No, I heard movement over there in the corner. Then I heard like a, a boom over in this corner going off. Did you hear no, any of that? I didn't hear that. Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Something over in that back corner. Or it was upstairs, one of the two. Ask them if they're in the Army of the Potomac. So they would probably say they're in the Army of Northern Virginia or uh, the Army of the Potomac. Okay. Tim? Yeah. Can you see everything? Yeah, I can see all of oh, yeah. Ask them if they're in the Army of the Potomac? Yeah. Okay. Are you in the Army of the Potomac? 